What's up, Bardian? Servitor here. And we got a new exotic scout rifle at Season of Dawn called the Symmetry. Now, if you have the Season Pass, you get this gun right away. Now, from what I understand, this is a pretty unique fire rate RPM at 260. It's like the Randy's. This gun has a pretty cute nifty exotic perk where if you headshot somebody, it stacks. And then once you hold reload, you can activate the perk called Revolution which is exactly what we need in this game, uh, more tracking. So this will track and do the same amount of damage to the body as it does to the head. If you have at least six to seven, you're pretty much guaranteed to two tap people. At six, it will hit to 98 to the body, which is enough damage to pretty much two tap any any guardian. I don't, I don't know how much resilience it takes to survive 196 damage, but I haven't noticed anybody surviving 298s. Now, if you have 7, it does 103, I think, which is pretty much guaranteed a 2-tap. So you just want 6 to 7 headshots before you activate Revolution to get the 2-tap. Now, honestly, I fucking hate this gun. <laughs> I played 5 hours last night with Cruiser and some with Mikowski before he got off, and I, I don't I don't enjoy this gun. And it might be because I don't enjoy scouts, they're not my playstyle. It could have also been the fact that there was also a shitload of Arbalists in our Crucible right now. I'll tell you if a gun works, I'll tell you if a gun is good. And for me... Maybe, maybe it's good for you. Maybe it's good for you, okay? But this is for me. For me, this gun sucks, okay? This gun, I, I don't like this gun. If a gun is good, I'll let you guys know. And I'll drop consistently, consistently 50 kill games. Super high 40 games, consistently 40. Pretty much 40 and up. But mainly 50s, it's extremely good. 60s and 70s, like Outlast. I'll drop, I've dropped 77 kills of Outlast. I've dropped 70 kills with Bygones. 50s and 60s with hand cannons, 40s and 50s with certain ARs, but just playing with this gun all night, I think the highest I got was 45, which is this game. Every other game was like 39, 42, 40 something, 30s, just low kill games. Sure, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna see clips where you see people with the perk, you know, wipe a whole team, but what is that, like once every 10 games it's gonna happen? It's just, it's not very often. I do like though that the when you when you when you put revolutionary gun, it doesn't activate until you shoot your first shot. So that's that's kind of nice. You can kind of time that. But I like a gun that just works all the time. Doesn't really rely on a perk. If I'm going for a high kill game, now I say that because you're probably thinking like, well, it's really easy. you use the Duke a lot, and the Duke relies on perks. The Duke does rely on perks. And I have probably said this before, the Duke in general is not that good of a gun. The Duke relies on those perks to work. Like most of the time it's like you're gonna you're me three type people, so it's like why why use a 110 when you can just use a 140, 150 that does the exact same thing? What makes a Duke special is, you know, the ability to two tap if you stack certain perks. I mean you can use a Duke just because you like the gun, but if you're trying to go for as many kills as possible, you probably want to use a gun that's a bit more consistent. Same thing with like the Outlast. The Outlast is a good gun, but is even better with kill clip and feeding frenzy on that gun. Just go hand in hand, and they work extremely well together. And so, like I said, Outlast, Bygones, guns like that—they're already good in their base form, but they're even better with their perks. This gun, it's mediocre in its base form, and its perk is okay. And the shots on this gun—they feel a little off. Also, they feel—it feels like I'm shooting a Plue Perfect. That Plue Perfect shoots weird too, like. Bullets don't go exactly where I'm aiming or something. There's ghost. It feels like ghost bullets is the best way to describe it. So the gun's all right. It's it's not for me. It's it's a fun it's a fun gun. It's it's a nice addition to have to the crucible. It's nice. I always like just options. If you don't already know, the intro and outro song is called Options by Hippie Sabotage. So if that doesn't say something there. So I like just options in the game. There's more even if it's even if it's stupid or dumb. It's something else in the game. It's another option. It's another choice that we have to do. It's more content. So it's... In that aspect, yeah, it's cool that we had this gun. It's it's nice that we have this unique ability. A new, a new option in the game that someone who likes scout rifles can have. Like I said, though, the guns just doesn't... It doesn't work for me. If it works for you, cool. That's awesome, you know. I'm glad you have a gun that you like that works really well for you. If the gun does work for you, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. If it doesn't work for you, let me know if you agree if it gun is okay or if you've been doing better than you normally do, the same as you usually do, or worse than you normally do. Let me know down below. There's a lot more I could probably say about this gun to, you know, talk about it, but I don't want to just complain and criticize about the gun the whole time. I think that's going to be it for me though, Guardians. I hope you enjoyed the background footage and the gameplay. If you aren't already subbed and you like what you see, 
hit the sub button close to 70,000. I appreciate all you guys watching, dropping by the stream. And that's it for me, guys. Until next time, stay thick. Zone advantage. Strong start. Fight on. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Zone A captured. You have advantage. Zone C lost. Zone B captured. You have advantage. left two for one 